What is the Sunnah rule of Miswak? What are the benefits of Miswak? 1. In every prayer, as the Prophet, may God bless him and grant him peace, said, If I did not think it would be difficult for my Ummah, I would order you to perform Miswak for every prayer. 2. Enters the house. 3. Wake up. 4. While reciting the Quran. 5. Whenever the mouth odor changes. 4. During ablution, it is mustahab to make miswak with a branch of neem, zaitun, or any other bitter tree. Miswak should be finger sized thick and half a hand long. The sooner rule of doing miswak is to miswak the right upper tooth first, then the left upper tooth, side by side with the lower tooth, not with the gum. It should be noted that doing miswak is highly meritorious and extremely beneficial for charity. There is no substitute for miswak in dental care. Using a brush will not give you the benefit of miswalking. After all the mundane benefits of miswak are not fully available in the brush. Therefore, not brush paste, but miswak should be used. Allah's Messenger, may God bless him and grant him peace, said, Whoever prays miswak, his deeds will be rewarded with twenty-seven prayers. The Messenger of God, may God bless him and grant him peace, also said, If it is not difficult for my Ummah, if it were, I would have made it wajib for them to use miswak. From this it can be understood how much importance was given to miswak by the beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So we are also careful about miswak. By doing this, you will be protected from various dental diseases. Dental medical is often crowded with patients. Their only problem is dental disease. In the busyness of work, we tend to neglect dental care. When disease occurs between the teeth, we wake up. For this, always consider the teeth as a valuable resource of the body, take great care. A small incident of miswak is mentioned below, once in a war when the companions lost the war with the infidels. Then a companion said, Why is this happening today? Why do we outnumber the infidels in battle, yet we lose? Suddenly someone said that before starting the battle, we do some deeds taught by the Holy Prophet. Everyone take a good look at them and see if there is any action left to do today. I forgot to do my miswak. I couldn't do it, then some companions started saying that we also forgot to do miswak today, we could not do it. So everyone took out the miswak from their pockets, started brushing their teeth, the infidels saw this brushing of the teeth of the companions and started saying balabali. Today we will have no choice as the Muslims are gnashing their teeth, it seems they will chew us up today. Everybody flee quickly, otherwise we will have no way today and we will not see the face of the wife and child again. This is how the infidels used to run away on that day. And the Muslims won the war easily.